Hello and welcome. My name is Christoph Putz and I'm your IT career guide. In today's video, I want to talk about the three most in-demand technical skills for 2021. So before we go into detail about the three most in-demand technical skills, let's just set the larger picture and understand why it's so critical to understand what these skill sets are and then what can you do with that knowledge. If you want to get into IT or if you want to advance with your IT career, there's always the latest and new technology in one way or the other. So technology changes all the time around us. And LinkedIn is actually estimating that new technologies or your technology skill set that you have today will be outdated in four, five, six years from today. So that requires that you learn new technologies all the time. But you cannot just easily jump from one technology into the another one. You really need to plan it out a little bit. And knowing what the most in-demand technical skill sets are might give you a direction where to go. You still have to dial it in in certain areas, but you need to identify an overall direction that you want to follow. And the most technical skills that are in demand in 2021 will give you that high level map and then you can focus in certain areas of these skills and really plan your career and develop your skill set and then have a successful IT career. Before we get started, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so now. I really appreciate it. And of course, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. So I just mentioned a moment ago that LinkedIn is estimating by at least six years or less your technical skill set will be outdated. It's not just LinkedIn that is throwing out this headline. It's actually other companies saying the same thing and some companies even back it up with their dollars. Amazon has dedicated $700 million to retrain one third of their workforce. So Amazon is just one of the company. The CEO of Google said something very similar that by 2025, a large number of IT professionals just need to be reskilled, meaning retrained, learn a new technology. And if you don't adjust your career and you're learning to it, you will be left behind and potentially become outdated at one point sooner than later. I want to say in the old days, we talked about the tech industry, but who is the tech industry? What companies are those? And the answer really is like, it's not just the tech industry. Every industry today relies on information technology and it's so critical to go with that flow and really understand it and not just look at the companies in Silicon Valley, those are the tech companies. No, no. If you go into other industries, they require a lot of technical skill sets from their workers as well. So technology is everywhere. And it's a critical skill set really, again, that you keep it up to date and that you plan. There are some certain industry specific knowledge and skills that you need to learn, but the overall layer of technology is just increasing everywhere. So when you look at technology, your skill set and what to do, can you really afford to go to college have a four year college degree on something that was written four, five, six, seven, eight years ago, and then think you come out of college and get handpicked by the cool companies from Silicon Valley or Wall Street or other companies? Most likely not. So if the technology is changing, let's say roughly every six years around you so dramatically that you need to reskill, that you need to relearn a new technology, your college degree will be outdated by the time you walk off the campus with your graduation papers in your hand. So what you need to do really here is College is an important education that you need to go through, but your college education is like the foundational layer of your education for your career. No matter if it's in technology or any other field, it doesn't matter. It's the foundation. The people that will be handpicked by the companies like Google, Microsoft, Facebook and others, those are the people that are not just having a college degree. At the same time, they developed additional skill sets. They become certified in IT technology. So when they graduate from college, they're not just having that foundation, but they already showed the additional effort of becoming certified. They hit the ground more running than you are if you don't do that. So really critical to understand how this works. My recommendation would be that you start at least one and a half years before you plan from graduating from college to increase your skill set. So if you go through a IT or CIS a bachelor's degree, 
identify what you like and just pick up a couple of certifications. You're not locking yourself in in the end. If you want to change direction, that's easy to do. Certifications are really just that icing on the cake that make you really valuable when you come out of college. And it's easy to change. I mean, that's really, look at it. A certification is not a four-year effort. A certification is like a couple of months of studying and going for a certification exam. Of course, if you don't have the work experience, it might be a little bit more challenging. But in the end, it's like you're not wasting any resources or effort. You're learning something and that's really gets you into that habit of constant learning. Understanding technology broadens your horizon. So really critical that you follow this. And my recommendation would be start about one and a half years before you plan to graduate from college to acquiring that knowledge and slowly become certified with two or three certifications. So when you come out of college that you're ready to go. So now the multi-million dollar question, what are the three most in-demand skills for 2021? So the, the three most in-demand technical skills for 2021 are cloud computing, big data, artificial intelligence. So I think cloud computing, we can all agree, that's not a surprise. There's so much to do in cloud. There are so many areas to specialize in. You can build like a dozen of careers on cloud computing. So, but if you are not in cloud computing just yet, if you're still tied to an on-premises server environment with your own little data center or server room and you're installing Windows servers and all that stuff, you better start looking over the wall and take a look at the cloud because that's where the future is. Just pick and choose an area and start working towards it. Big data. I mean, if you look at companies like Facebook, Google, and all the others, they're all collecting data about us. They're collecting data about their users, their behavior, how they respond to certain things. The same thing with e-commerce and of course, other types of research. Data is a big thing. So big data, really large data sets and creating the analysis and uh, the tools that go and work with the big data, that's a critical area. It's a little more specialized in a certain way. But once you learn the skill, that is something that will carry you through for the next 30 or 40 years if you choose to do so. Of course, within those 30 to 40 years, there will be a lot of changes. But again, you're looking at the foundation. The same thing with cloud, you're looking at that foundation. Once you have that foundational knowledge, yes, you branch out into a new twist or uh, area here and there, but that foundation is a critical piece. And then of course, artificial intelligence, that's just everywhere. Artificial intelligence is its own little beast. You can read up on it in more detail exactly what it really means. If you want to work in artificial intelligence, so there are quite a few areas. I mean, think about like self-driving cars. Think about what Google is doing with their search technologies. The artificial intelligence that acts as an example goes into like Google Photos and creates a different type of animations from the pictures that you take or automatically improves the picture quality. It's just a tiny little piece. Artificial intelligence is in so many different areas, but these three technologies, so cloud, artificial intelligence and big data, if you start working towards those areas and build up foundational knowledge, you're really setting yourself up for success. So I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so as well. And then I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.